Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, uh, May 1st of 2019. It's almost 11 p.m. Uh, let's see, let me put this microphone where. Let's put it right there. I always keep you updated on <laughs> what I'm messing with or doing. I only have one monitor now, and that's my 4K monitor, and it's in 4K mode. I just, I don't know. So anyway, I'm back right now for today at least. This is a 4K monitor in 4K mode. Uh, I'm still using the Blue Yeti microphone. I, uh, have a new mouse. This is the old mouse, the Logitech uh, 607. 602. The 602. And it's a wireless mouse I've been using. And you have this that you can uh, plug into USB comes with a dongle. You could just put that in the USB, but you, this also comes with it. And you plug it in USB, and then you plug your uh, dongle into the, and then you have it closer to your mouse or whatever. Uh, I decided to go with a wired mouse, and I decided to go with uh, the Logitech G502. Hero. Probably you can't tell, but it's uh, lighted. I don't think you can tell because of the brightness or whatever, but I don't think you can tell. But it's lighted. That doesn't matter too much. Also, I use the uh, G910 Logitech keyboard. It's, you know, lighted. Uh, so that's the uh, set by where this is the box for the... Uh, G502. And uh, the software. So I'm using Logitech 902 keyboard, uh, Logitech 502 mouse, Logitech uh, 910, I think, camera. Uh, the mouse, by the way, uses weights. I have two in there. Might be one too many weights. You can put, what comes with how many weights? I forget. Five, six. I've got two weights in there. Oh, I was going to show you the software here. And here we go. And there is the software, so you can program, you know, all these keys to do, which I probably won't even program one of them. You know, I really don't, I don't need a gaming keyboard. I don't need a gaming mouse. I don't know why I buy them. Uh, the, the 810 keyboard, or the 910 keyboard, I like it because of the way it feels. Also that it has a rotary thing for, you know, sound adjustment and, and, and other reasons. And, uh, but, let's see here. Which one is the adjustments? I think this is the adjustment for, yeah, there you go. So this is for the DPI of your uh, mouse. And this thing, I, I forget what it is, goes up to 20, that Michael, 20,000 or something like that, or maybe it's 16,000. As you can see, I'm using 125. That works just fine for uh, this situation. By the way, I'm sure you can hear the 
storm in the background. I'm not sure how much, so you can hear. We have thunder and, I guess, lightning and rain. Uh, what else is going on? Well, let's pull up like I always do. Oh, I was looking. My wife and I used to, or well, my ex-wife, we were when we were married, uh, we used to own a tropical fish shop for four years. And after we sold the tropical fish shop back in the early 1970s, I haven't had any fish tanks, no interest in them or whatever. I've started looking at uh, videos about aquariums and I'm actually thinking of getting like a small aquarium and setting it, let's see, I don't think you can see it again. Oh yeah, you could, I, that's right, your little insert up there. I'm thinking of actually getting one and just set up with a lot of plants and a few fish and give you something in the background. And two, if I wanted to stream some video and go to, uh, if I'm doing live streaming or something, I could uh, point the camera at the aquarium while I go to the bathroom or get something to eat or whatever if I'm live streaming for a long time. Uh, oh, let's see, what was I going to show here? Here's the weather advisory. The National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a flood advisory. Let's see, until 1.30 a.m. At 10.29 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms that were producing heavy rainfall across western Tarrant County. That's us and southeastern Parker County. Excessive rain, da, 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 da. Some locations that will experience flood include Fort Worth, Arlington, uh, Urban, Grand Prairie, Euless, Bedford, Grapevine, etc., etc. Doesn't say anything about tornadoes or anything like that. So, uh, as you can see, I'm using Manicam, and it's been working pretty well for me. I've paid for at least six other programs for, you know, doing this, recording videos and editing videos and, uh, and doing live streaming and everything. So. What, oh, I was going to bring up uh, CNN, that's what I'm going to bring up. Here's a young man who, at the North Carolina shooting, young college student, I think he was just graduating, he rushed to the gunman and undoubtedly saved the police and everybody are saying that uh, his actions are you know, heroic and that he uh, actually saved a bunch of people by rushing. He lost his life, but he rushed the uh, gunman. They don't really know uh, what the reason for the uh, gunman doing the shooting at this point. Let's see, what else? I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. Big Bang Theory cast bids farewell. I really liked the Big Bang Theory, and uh, but I just stopped watching it at some point. But uh, I can always go back and just start over and you know, do some binge watching. Uh, 
think that'll be it. I'm not going to make this very long. So I thank you very much for uh, watching, and we're going to see how this all works out. Um, I think the settings here, I'm uploading this in 1080p. The screen that you're seeing is 4K, but I'm going to upload it in 1080p. I don't see much reason to do 4K. Well, of course, knowing me, I'll probably change my mind tomorrow and do something. But And I have done 4K, some 4K uploads. And someplace, I think it's still there, I did uh, 3D. I had a cell phone that did 3D videos. So I have actually uploaded a 3D video here someplace. So I try, you know, I've tried just about everything. As long as it doesn't take much work. So thank you very much for watching.